<laughs> right, we're feeling awake, feeling peppy, <laughs> feeling just, oh, we're We were ready. tired this morning, but we are feeling good now. Yeah. <laughs> Disneyland, I'm More coffee, please. <laughs> Good morning! Today we're gonna continue our What We Love About Seattle mini series. Last time we hit up Pike Place Market, check that out below. And this time we're gonna hit up one of the things Seattle's most famous for and probably one of our favorite things. Coffee! <laughs> so we could never hit up all the spots in Seattle, but we're gonna take you around to our five favorite spots that we like to go to. And starting out, we're going to go to our neighborhood gym. So we first discovered El Diablo when we came to Seattle for one day to go apartment hunting. We found the perfect apartment down the street which we now live in and love and part of the reason we love that apartment is because the neighborhood it's in and having this awesome coffee shop nearby. We came here afterwards, we celebrated, hopefully getting the apartment. Um, they actually used to be located just down the street so they moved like maybe a couple buildings over last summer um, into this really cool old house and it used to be a Mexican restaurant that went out of business and now it's El Diablo and it's a two-story house there's awesome seating upstairs and downstairs there's an upstairs patio which we're on right now and there's a downstairs patio too and it's just the most like homey neighborhoody vibe and so it's not gonna this place doesn't really necessarily show up on like the must visit coffee shops in Seattle list I think it's kind of under the radar a little bit but we just love it it's very makes sure you just feel at home and it's when you Imagine living in a neighborhood and having that place you go to all the time. This is it. Uh, the staff knows us. We love them. The coffee's great. It's where I go to work. I work remotely, so it's where I go to work when I'm kind of sick of being at home. And just kind of love this place anymore. Stop number two of the day, La Marzocco Cafe. love coffee there's a really good chance you've heard of La Marzocco before or at least seen it so basically it's an Italian based espresso machine maker and their machines are in a lot of the hipster high-end coffee shops all around the world and so this cafe is a mixture of a showroom for their home espresso machine line which oh my gosh if you ever win the lottery or buy on one they're like four thousand dollars so definitely not in our budget but they're beautiful and they're awesome and we really 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 want one so the cafe is part showroom for that and then also part cafe. And so what they do, since they aren't an actual roaster, is they feature other roasters from around the world. So once a month, a new roaster comes in. Uh, last time I was here, it was a roaster from Asia, which was super, super cool. And you basically get to try their different coffees. It's some fancy, unique drinks that they mix up. They kind of change the decor a little bit in here. It's just a really cool experience. And I try to come once a month so I can try all of them. And every time I come in, it's like going to a new coffee shop. So it's really, really fun. Um, today, they have Elixir coffee from Philadelphia and we got their anise pistachio mocha. It's a mouthful. Uh, we basically drank it all because it's really, really good. It's basically just your standard mocha, but it has pistachio and then star anise in it. And the pistachio just takes it to the next level. Uh, I love pistachios, love pistachio ice cream. It just gives it kind of a nuttier flavor. And then the pistachios that were on that were on top before we ate it all or drank it all um, just kind of added like an extra texture and crunch. So I can't guarantee they'll have this one when you come to visit, but they'll definitely have some other cool drink. Last time I tried more and that had like Yakult, I think is what it's called. It's like a yogurt drink in it. And every time they just have something very unique and different. So love it here. Cool. 
Also, this place is super cool because it's inside with a radio station, and just behind me is uh, one of the studios. So if you hear people talking like now, that means they're on air. Plus, they've got the on air light there, so just add some co super cool flavor to it. I haven't had the drink yet, um, but what Catherine did fail to mention, she mentioned mocha, but they put about this much chocolate sauce in the bottom, so um, I'm sure it's pretty good, but I haven't tried it, so here we go. That's intense, but you get the nutty flavor of the pistachios. Pistachios are top three in my favorite nuts there, so it's delicious. And you've got that Space Needle view. Woo! So if you are visiting Seattle and you're at the Space Needle, just walk on over here for an awesome local experience. Or if you're a local just at the Space Needle, this is a great place to check out. All right, two down. Three to go! <laughs> right, we're feeling awake, feeling peppy, <laughs> feeling just, oh, we're, we're ready. We were tired this morning, but we are feeling good now! Yeah. <laughs> Stop number three is Cascade Coffee Works, which is part of the Seattle Coffee Works family. Seattle Coffee Works has four locations around Seattle, and each one's named after the neighborhood it's in. So they have the original Seattle Coffee Works, which is down by Pike Place Market. Highly recommend checking out that spot if you're at Pike Place. Uh, this one is in the South Lake Union Amazon area, which I guess is called Cascade. And they have Capital Coffee Works, which is in Capitol Hill, and they have Ballard Coffee Works, which is obviously in Ballard. And each one kind of has a little bit of a different look and feel, and we love Cascade Coffee Works because it's just very bright, there's lots of windows, it has like a pretty interior, and we have sweets! So fun little fact for you, a little A plus K personal history. Uh, when we first came to Seattle, we went to Seattle Coffee Works down by Pike Place, and Catherine always says I was a little weird acting. Um, I was a little queasy in the stomach, not to lie, but the reason is because I was about to propose to Catherine at Cary Park, so this, these coffee shops hold a special place in our heart. So um, today we got the rose cardamom latte, and I'm not a big, uh, you know, flowery guy in my drinks, especially. I'm not a big lavender fan, uh, but rose cardamom, I'll give it a shot. I can get down with that, it's pretty good. <laughs> I can deal with it. Every rose has its coffee. Mm. That's good, it's not overpowering, it's just kind of subtle sweetness. We love their lattes here, I believe, and I'll fact check in right below, I believe they make their syrups in-house. So that's just one thing that we love about this place. Coffee shops always get bonus points with us if they make house-made house syrups. The song. <laughs> <laughs> My song? Yeah. Being married to me. That was me. special. <laughs> Being married to me means you get random concerts every time. I sing songs to Kona all the time. I just love, I love to sing poorly and make up my own words to songs. That one just caught me off guard. <laughs> every rose. I dig it, I dig it. Stop four, Anchorhead. is an awesome coffee shop in downtown Seattle. It's really close to the convention center, so if you happen to be in town for a conference, highly recommend checking this place out. When I used to work downtown, I would walk half a mile at lunch just to come here, even though there were closer coffee shops because I love it so much. The inside of it is just very cool. It's very dark and kind of goes with the whole Seattle gloom. And unlike a lot of the coffee shops that are popping up all around the world that are very like white and bright and kind of like Joanna Gainesy, um, this one's just very dark and it's just awesome. And it has this really cool coffee sound in the window that's really fun to take photos of. So this place is great and I love coming here.
here. So we got the nitro mint cold brew. So it's cold brew coffee infused with mint. And then they put some, some kind of dairy in there, milk, I think. So Ooh, that's good. I'm not a big mint person. But I'm warming up to it. It's good. I like it. It kind of reminds me a little bit if you've had Phil's coffee of their mint mojito. Uh, it's a little bit different, but it's a pretty similar flavor, and we love the mint mojito. So, in the name of research, when we walked in, I wasn't going to get it, but I broke down. I'm going to try it this time. So, we got what's called a waffle. It's a cinnamon roll made into or made with croissant, and then they make it into a waffle. So, my mind is just like. I don't know how they did it. They're really, they're really famous for this one yeah. item, so you have to try it. Yeah, so I'm excited to try this. They gave you a knife. I thought I could do it without it, but... Oh my gosh, I'm jealous. Be so jealous. <laughs> Be jealous. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that goes out to my guy, Mark Ween. <laughs> It's so good, it's crunchy, chewy, it's got the maple syrup on it, cinnamon roll flavor. Oh dude, that's good. Sorry, Kat. <laughs> Our final stop is Starbucks Reserve Roastery. I know what you're thinking, Starbucks? But you can go to those anywhere. But y'all, this is not an ordinary Starbucks. Right. <laughs> about to open one in Chicago as well and it's basically just a huge like coffee experience it's not really just a coffee shop we would go and hang out at but we always bring guests here so that's why we're including it it's definitely the most touristy spot but they have tons of souvenirs tons of cool coffee stuff to buy they have food it looks like they have a bar now I um, mean you can also watch the roast coffee so this place is incredible it's just gorgeous to even look at too um, so all those kind of touristy you have to come here if you've never been it's but the quality of the drinks is going to be higher too. So we got a hazelnut Bianco latte. It's a hazelnut praline infused milk uh, with, with the reserved coffee. So here we go. Ooh. Solid, another nutty drink today. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going a bit nuts today, literally and figuratively. <laughs> don't get sugary drinks all day long, but for the sake of this vlog, we wanted to highlight some of the specialty drinks at places, and this is incredible. It's really sweet, but it's really good. It's like a pralines and cream, it's coffee ice cream, almond ice cream. <laughs> so we wish we could keep going to even more coffee spots, but we're starting to feel like <laughs> jittery. <laughs> Uh, if you missed any of the names of the coffee shops we went to, we'll link to them below. We'll also link to a blog post we have with a bunch of other coffee shops yeah. that we love in Seattle. The five that we went to today are all relatively close by car, so you can hit them up back to back to back yeah. if you really want to feel good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's like time to go like run a half marathon yeah. or something. What do we do with all this energy now? I, I gotta know. go clean the house or something? <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> Let's go. <laughs> How you feeling? More, more coffee, please. More coffee, please. <laughs> Needle man. Sharp. <laughs> and they had to swim. <laughs> oh, there's a doggy outside. Hi, little buddy. I want to pet you. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. Update. <laughs> We didn't get to pet the dog. <laughs> no, it left before we were done. Oh, it was so cute. Sad day, sad day. <laughs>